What's up, freaks? It's Steve Eckert here with Steve Says episode number 81. As you know, Steve Says is good. We're going to go over what the things that you may not necessarily want to hear, but the things that you probably need to hear. That's what we talk about every week. And as I always like to say, some people will hate, but most can relate. Now, this week, we're going to talk about the, the one simple secret strategy to your day, to your day-to-day business or, or life decision making that will lead to massive success in your mind, your body, and your business. This is what we're going to talk about today. And of course, as you know, we're always bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. So this week, we're going to talk about basically, are you mentally tough and emotionally as emotionally resilient as you should be and as you could be. Now, do you choose your own path or does the freaking path choose you? And then do you need some help in leveling up in your mind, your muscles, and in your money? And we're going to go over exactly how you can do that today. If you didn't know, Steve Says is a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success in your health, your family, your finances, your workouts, so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own freaking terms. We're always focusing on the mind, the body, the business, in that order, because that's the order they need to be going in. I have you on a few different screens here, three different screens here, so I'm just going to be checking here and there. If you have any questions, comments, want to add into the conversation, what's up, Pasquale Ita? What's going on? So we're talking about the mind, the body, the business in that order. About having, it's all about really having a role model mindset. RMM, role model mindset on how to operate to dominate with discipline, with energy, with confidence, with action and being your freak self. This is what this show is about every week. Not even, not just specifically this week. It's about adapting and overcoming, getting your shit together, making shit happen, trusting the process And of course, making no excuses. So let's jump into it this week. Episode number 81. 81. And it's it's a a secret. Such a deep secret that that's going to help you out. Now, before we even get into what we're talking about, I want to something I've realized as I was in my head. I'll I'll be working out and I'll, I'll be going over in my head about the each episode here of Steve Says. And I'm thinking about it. And I realized that every single thing we talk about, every episode, and this isn't the secret, this just lead, it was really going to lead into it. Everything we talk about, it's based off of discipline. I sent on an email today. I don't know if you got the email. I sent it out today. If you're not, make sure you just uh, send me a, a direct message with your email address because you're missing out on some killer content that we're sending out two to a couple times a week and exclusive offers and information and promotions, and all kinds of stuff that you need to check out. So if you're not getting the emails, make sure you do that right now. While we're talking about that, put a comment in the section. If you're watching this live, if you're watching this on replay, put replay. Put that put that right down there in the comment below. So if you're getting the emails, give me a thumbs up, give me a like. If not, then just put in the comments that you're going to DM me, and I'll get you. make sure you get on the email list. But today I talked about, I asked you a simple question. I said, do you have the big D? The big D. And that's not what today's show is about. It just made me think of it. Because as I was preparing for this show today, I realized that, that there was a common denominator in every single episode of Steve Says. And that's the big D. That is discipline. Every show ends up being, it's all about just different types of discipline. That's all it ever really is, if you think about it. That's like the ultimate. That's like the, the god of personal development. The umbrella over all personal development is discipline. So what we're going to do today is learn a new discipline. Really each week, all we're doing is discussing a new discipline. It's all fucking discipline. It's all discipline. So we're going to go hard on that today. And we're going to talk about the simple strategy, again, strategy to your day-to-day decision-making that's going to lead to massive success in your mind, your body, and your business. So again, are are you mentally tough, emotionally resilient as you could be? And all those other questions I asked you earlier. Now, What is the secret? What is this secret discipline that we're talking about today? What is this secret discipline we're talking about today? It's it's so complex, but it's so fucking simple. It's so fucking simple that it's complex. It is the discipline 
to, to decide to do the difficult. Decide on the difficult. That's what this discipline is. To decide on the difficult. Basically, to put that in a, in a more simpler term, is do hard shit. And we're going to go deep on this and talk about this. And I'm coming closer because I'm blind as hell. Just want to see this stuff. Make your bed every day. Yes, I love it. A discipline right there, right? Start off the day with a win. Start off the day with some discipline. That's going to, you're going to ride the wave of that discipline throughout your day. So really, what we're going to talk about as, as it's so fucking simple that it's complex. Do hard shit. That's it. Because you need to throughout your day. That's how you should make your decision. Seriously. And now this isn't every single decision. Obviously, there's certain times that you want to be more efficient and there's more efficient and productive ways to do things. But in general, do hard shit. Because as you know, no great success, no great victories, no great success in your fitness, in your body, in your business. You're not going to make any amounts of money. You're not going to get in great shape without doing hard shit, without choosing hard over easy. Easy is fucking easy. That's why it's called easy. That's some brilliant shit right there, right? Easy is fucking easy. That's why it's called easy. That is a, a, a brilliant quote right there. I think Einstein said that quote. Maybe, maybe not. So choose hard. What I would need you to do is choose hard. All the fucking time. Every day in all your decisions. Choose hard. Now again, don't put that. Because I get, I get the stupid hate me in my email afterwards of the haters that watch the show. They don't comment live. They just watch. And you know, they're creeping in the shadows like little fucking sleazeballs. And then they'll send messages after or stupid comments after the fact. And it'll be like, well, because obviously there's certain times you don't want to choose the, the hard way. You know what I mean? Like in common sense situations. We're not even going to get into that. But just choose hard. You know what I mean. Because listen to this. Listen to this next, next, next statement. What you think is easy is really hard. And I'll explain that in a moment as we get into this. I'll explain that in a little bit. Because hard is actually fucking easy. And I'm going to show it to you and I'm going to prove it to you. I'm going to go over examples of that. And I keep coming closer to see the messages here. We got you on the, the Instagrams and the Facebook and the MySpace and all this other shit. Because listen, do hard shit. It's, it's easy. Easy is fucking easy. That's why it's called easy. It's easy to, to sleep in. It's easy to eat shit. It's easy to skip a workout. Now it's hard to wake up earlier than everyone else every day, even if you went to sleep later, later the night before. It's easy to just eat shit that because t- it tastes good. And it makes you feel good for that split second. Like a, a sugar addict and, and dopamine hits and all this other shit. But then you know you're going to crash. It's easy to skip a workout. It's fucking hard to grind it out an hour a day. Two hours a day. I put two hours a day on my schedule. And I make sure I make time for that. That's why I get up super fucking early. And I'm efficient as hell. Because I choose the hard shit. And I make time for the hard shit. I schedule out the hard shit. Put hard shit on your calendar. Schedule a hard shit. Go out of your way to seek the difficult. Decide on the difficult, the discipline to decide on the difficult. So Marcus Aurelius, if, if you've been following the show for a while, you know, we, we love the, the ancient Greek stoic philosophy. Marcus Aurelius said, don't be overheard complaining, not even to yourself. Because listen, shit could always be harder. There's people out there that would love to be in your situation right now when you're bitching and complaining about stuff that you're choosing is so hard. Life is so difficult. It's so hard. Like suck it up. Suck it up. He also said, everything that happens is either endurable or not. If it's endurable, then endure it. It's so fucking simple. It's just like saying easy is fucking easy. And that's why it's called easy. Everything happen, Everything that happens is either endurable or it's not. If it's endurable, then endure it. Stop complaining. This is Marcus Aurelius. Over 2,000 years ago, a dude wearing a robe and some sandals, this is what he said. And it makes more sense today than ever. Just checking out some of the comments here as we're going. Yes, you learned from Jason Redman. Awesome dude. Look what I keep on my desk right here on Instagram. We're talking, uh, someone mentioned Jason Redman. This is Jason Redman's coin. There's a picture of him getting shot in the skull right through the eye. So when I think I'm having a bad day, I look at this. I say, do you think you're having a fucking hard day? Take a look at this. Or I'll read this book. That's why I keep it right here on top. Right here on top. A Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. If you haven't read that. I think you're having a hard day. I read those, and right when I, I read that book, or I read Jason Redman's book, or I look at that coin, and I tell myself, you better start making shit harder, because shit's too fucking easy. I need it harder. Make it hard. If it's endurable, then endure it. And, and, and if it's endurable, stop complaining. And then listen to the next part of this. This is still Marcus Aurelius talking 2,000 freaking something years ago. Your destruction will mean its end as well. 
So if it's not endurable, your destruction means it's over. So who cares? Just stop complaining. Either way, if it's endurable, stop complaining because it's endurable. If it's not endurable, stop complaining because it's not endurable and you've, you've, you're at the end of the line. You're done. What are you going to do? But most of the time, you're not going to be fucking done. You're going to keep driving forward like Viktor Frankl, like, like Jason Redman. And you're going to keep driving forward and endure. Endure it. Stop fucking bitching. Choose hard. Because what that's going to do, it's going to prepare you for when shit goes sideways. And shit's going to go sideways all the time. Right? We got viruses and shutdowns and businesses closed down. And people losing work and out of work and, and, and all this other stuff. Turned upside down. Then you got riots and elections and people bitching and crying about politics that they don't even fucking know what they're talking about. And all this other dumb shit. And then, if you look out the window, I'm not even going to look, but it's not going to affect me because we're focused here. There are literally fires almost 360 degrees around me right now. But we'll endure it. We'll fucking endure it. California is, Southern California is on fire right now. Some winds and power lines down. Some people camping and setting fires on accident. Whatever. What are you going to do? We're going to endure it. That's what we're going to fucking do. And if not, listen, if we don't endure it, guess what? It's our destruction anyway. So either way, stop fucking complaining. And we're going to choose hard. We're going to choose hard. Make everything hard. Choose the hard option of everything. It's going to make you durable. Enduring is going to make you durable. You're going to have durability. So when the next shit happens, you're prepared for it. You've trained for it. You've got your battle scars. You've built up your fucking adversity armor. You built up your discipline muscles, the discipline to do the hard shit. That's what we're talking about. And this has to be consistently. Now, I'm not saying it's easy, but I'm going to show you how it becomes easy. But easy is not easy. I'm telling you, trust me on this. Easy is not fucking easy. You think when you're choosing the easy way out, you think that you're going easy. But you're not. You're not. You're going the, the, the miserable route is what you're doing. Let's, let's talk about that. Let's talk about adversity, manufactured adversity. What I do, like, my, my childhood was fucked up. I didn't have anything. We were hungry. I barely ate dinner. I was wearing old, dirty clothes. Had no toys, no cable TV, no bike. None of that shit. None of it. No, just regular TV with like channel two, channel four, channel five, and channel fucking 13. That was it. Sometimes seven, nine, and 11 would come in, but they were usually fuzzy. So two, four, and five, that was it. That was it. No cable TV. But now that I have kids and I've busted my fucking ass to be able to provide the kids whatever they want, I'd rather not give them whatever they want. I'd rather not, not give them whatever they want. I'd rather teach them how to think rather than just give them a bunch of shit. I'd rather teach them how to endure than give them a bunch of shit. Teach them how to earn shit than give them a bunch of shit so they don't become like some of these nowadays entitled fucking brats that are around the world. I'm going to manufacture adversity. Like, for instance, before I moved to California, when I was living in New York, I would fly out to California literally on a monthly basis, sometimes a couple times a month, which is why I really ended up moving here. I'd fly out here. Tyson wanted to come with me. Now imagine that. When my father would leave home when I was a kid, it was like, yes. That jackass is leaving home. I could have some peace and quiet, not some drunk throwing steel toe work boots at me. When I leave the house and my son is like, no, daddy, don't go. I tell him I'm going to a business trip in California for four days and it's going to be boring. I'm going to be in workshops for 9, 10, 12, 14 hours a day. And he says, I don't care. Can I come with you? I'll sit in the back and I'll help you out. I'm like, fuck yeah. We're going to pull you out of school and you're going to come on out. You're going to learn more here anyway. But when we get there, realize... Listen to that. We're going to manufacture adversity because I didn't have someone that, that would just fly me around first class around the, around the country, around the world to, to workshops and stuff. Especially not my freaking father. First time I was on a plane was heading to boot camp to lovely Paris Island, South Carolina when I was 19 years old. First time on a plane, first time out of New York, New Jersey area. Anyway, that's besides the point. We're getting off track. Manufacture adversity. So I tell him, all right, Tyson, you want to come on this trip with me? You could bring, he asked me what he could bring. Can he bring some of his toys, his Legos, his Nerf guns? I said, you can bring. Whatever the fuck you want to bring. Bring whatever you want. Carry as much as you want. Now, here's what's going to happen. You're going to carry all your own stuff. And you're going to pack all your own stuff. You're going to take care of your own stuff. And once we get to where we're going, he asks, we we, we need to go get food and stuff. Sometimes we're there for a week. Sometimes we're there for four or five days. We need to go get some groceries. So I tell him, listen, you can get as much food as you want. Whatever drinks you want. You can get anything you want at the store. But here's the deal. We're going to walk from the hotel. We're not going to goober that shit. We're not getting a rental car. We are going to walk from the hotel to the grocery store. That's maybe a mile away. Everything that we get, we're going to carry back to the hotel. Get whatever you want. Like this is these little micro steps, these little micro steps to build those adversity muscles. 
manufactured adversity. So everything's not just handed to you. You're going to earn what you, what you, what you're going to basically eat what you kill is a term for it, really, if you think about it. And that's going to be handed that food. You're going to have to hunt and struggle and suffer if you want it. You're going to have to do it because you need to choose hard. We could, you could, we could have easily. And listen, I'm carrying shit too because I need water. I need cases of water to last those days. I need protein shakes and food and chicken and eggs and all that stuff. So I'm suffering too. That's part of my suffering. I put myself through it. I'll choose the hard. I could easily say, you know what? Fuck that. We're going to jump into Uber. We're going to go there or just have the food delivered here. No, 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 no. We're going to choose hard. Choose hard. Manufacture that adversity to keep building it up. Because if not, then I'm thinking... Right, I learned a lot of these lessons and able to have the discipline and the mindset I have because of the shit I was forced to endure as a kid. So, but, but I value those lessons. If I didn't have those lessons and my kids don't, I'd be, it'd be a disservice to them to not let them have some of those lessons. So we're going to man, we're going to make shit hard. Like we did a survival, for survival night a couple weeks ago. Literally, I said we have 10 minutes to get out in the backyard, whatever you can carry. That's all you have for the entire night. And that includes food. Water, clothes, everything. We, we brought, fi- we, we learned how to make fires. We're not going to do that now. We'll start a freaking forest fire. So fires, we cooked our own food out there with our, we used military MREs. We had our own water supplies that we store because we store, we prepare for this stuff. And that, and that shit's heavy. We have to lug it all around, move it around quickly and then survive off of that stuff. In the house, there's tons of food. There's tons of water. But we're drinking out of canteens right outside the house. With, and it's the discipline to decide on the difficult, to choose fucking hard. That's what it's about. Choosing hard is all that it's about. Think about that. And all the time, not just for a certain amount of time. I, I know a lot of people have been talking about, I don't know, some program they do online or something. It's like 100 hard or 75 soft or 95 a week or whatever it is. I don't even know what it is. Fuck that. You're not doing something for 75 days. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. You need to commit to a life of discipline and consistency. Commit to a life of choosing hard. The discipline to choose hard. Plan for life. Not for weeks or 75 days or 100 fucking days of something that's semi-difficult that probably doesn't even make sense. Or even weeks. Or even years. Make it 75 or 85 fucking years hard, not days. That's what you need to be thinking, doing. Because listen, I get, I get asked often, what's the best diet? Or what's the best workout routine that I could do. And they also get asked, what's the best home defense gun to have? And they're all the same question. They're all the same answer. Whichever one is going to, you're going to have the discipline to follow through on. That's it. All diets suck. All weight loss diets suck. But all weight loss diets work. And the reason for that is they all require discipline. If you have discipline to follow the diet, it's going to work. If you don't have discipline to follow the diet, it's going to fucking suck. So that's why, therefore, all diets work. Steve Crawl, what's up? That's why all diets work and all diets suck. All training routines work and all training routines suck. If you don't have the discipline to either do it or do it. Do you decide to do it hard and go all fucking out? Or you decide to be a little bitch and half-ass it and be lazy and skip the workouts? Or when you do it, just go through the motions? It's discipline. It all comes down to discipline every time. It's fucking crazy. All the decisions come down to discipline. The discipline to choose hard. Then think about, so then other, this has nothing to do with the show, but I was just thinking about it because I had this conversation just a couple of days ago. Someone said, because all the craziness going on in the world and, and whatever, home invasions and chaos and riots. And they asked me, what's the best home defense gun? Should I get a rifle, an AR-15? Should I get a shotgun? Should I get a pistol? What should I get? It doesn't matter. It's whatever one you're going to have the discipline to become safe, and proficient with, and practice with on a regular basis, so it becomes an extension of your body, an extension of your being. That's the one. Of course, you can have pros and cons to each, whether it's a rifle, a shotgun, a pistol, whatever it is, but it's whatever one you're going to have the discipline to to go along with. So you can see how discipline and choosing hard all are the same. This this gun thing has nothing to do with today's show. It just popped in my head. I thought about it when I was saying every diet works. Every gun works. Whatever one you're going to be disciplined with to be accurate and efficient and safe and effective with and and have the discipline to practice. Now, practice is fucking hard. In order to be efficient at any one of those home defense guns, you need to have the discipline to put in practice on a regular basis, like weekly, like a couple times a month at least, 
practicing with live fire, but then also practicing loading, reloading, clearing it, weapons, getting it when it's a jam, dealing with a jam, loading magazines is discipline. That's all discipline. Practice takes discipline, but that's how you build up those muscles by choosing the hard way. All practice is fucking hard. All practice takes discipline. It's all fucking interconnected, as you can see how this works out. Because again, every every diet, every workout, every you, every program you could do, it requires discipline. Every diet has calorie restriction and makes you eat healthy foods, right? So if you have discipline to restrict your calories and eat healthy foods, you don't need a fucking diet. You have discipline. All you need is the diet of discipline. All you need is the discipline to choose hard. Dieting's fucking hard. It's hard. All right? It's hard. Boo fucking who? Poor you. The hardest thing you have to do is not eat a bunch of fucking ho-hos and pizza and Twinkies and cupcakes and shit. Rough life. Rough life on you. Poor you. Boo fucking who? You choose the hard. If the hardest thing in your life is eating healthy, you got a pretty good fucking life. You need to stop complaining. Go back to Marcus Aurelius. Endure it and stop freaking complaining. It's not your, your destruction because you need to eat healthy. That's not the hardest thing you have to deal with. But I could see how it's hard. You have those moments of weakness and willpower and all this other bullshit, whatever. I get it. All right. I understand. But all you need is the diet of small decisions to commit to the diet of discipline in all areas of life. Those small decisions to choose the hard over the easy every fucking time to build up that discipline, to build up the discipline muscles where it just becomes normal to you. Discipline in making your workouts every day. Discipline not shoveling a bunch of fucking shit in your mouth. That discipline. Discipline to not drink alcohol. Listen, if you know you have a problem with your calories, a problem with your weight, a problem with stress, anxiety, a problem with being a douchebag, and you're drinking alcohol and just multiplying all those problems because you're drinking. I'm just scrolling some of these so I can see. Green machine. Can you talk about how discipline builds resistance to the inner bitch. 100%. That's what we're talking about. Building those muscles through little, small, micro decisions on a daily basis to choose hard. The discipline to choose hard. Every little thing. Every little thing. To, to eat that, drink that protein shake instead of drink that alcohol. To tell your friends to fuck off when they tell you, oh, you got to live a little because you don't want to go out and drink with them. And you're going to stay home. And, you know, maybe, what, what, a, what, a, what an idea. Maybe spend some time with your kids and not get drunk and be a, a, a douchebag and they see you all drunk. Think about that. Make it hard. Choose hard. You have to build those little micro decisions nonstop. Stack those small wins of difficulties. Difficult wins. Of course, you can get some easy lay downs here and there, but those aren't the ones that are going to serve you. The hard shit's what's going to serve you. It's going to make you fucking strong in all areas of life. And again, the alcohol. Put the shit down if you know it makes you an asshole. Put the shit down even if it doesn't. It's just poison. It's just nasty. Literally, I made a, de- a decision to stop drinking. I don't even know, a couple years ago. I haven't had a single sip since then. Talked about it before. We're not going to go into that right now. But you need to have the discipline and choose hard to drink more water than some sugary drinks. So easy. The discipline to get enough sleep, to shut it down, stop binge watching some dumb fucking Netflix show when then you say you don't have time to sleep. You don't have time to work out. It's not enough hours in a day. You don't have enough time to make money and build your business and spend time with your kids, but you have enough time to watch like four seasons of Netflix in like a weekend or some shit. Have the discipline to choose hard and get that sleep and and put off all those vices and all that other bullshit. The discipline to read and study and learn every day. That's choosing hard. You can sit and just consume a whole bunch of shit on Netflix or you can consume stuff that you're actually going to go and implement the next day. Don't just be a consumer, be a creator. It's fucking hard to create. It's easy to consume It's fucking hard to create because you know why? You might fail. You might lose. You might go down when you create. You might look stupid. People might think you're dumb. People might think you're weak. Who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? Doesn't matter. You need to have, it's hard and have the discipline to decide on the difficult of waking up early and attack your day every day. You need to have the, the, it, it's hard to control your time, right? Choose hard when it comes time to control your time. Say no to shit you know you shouldn't be wasting your time on. The discipline to control your time and control who and what you allow to invade your time. And the discipline and, and the hard fact of thinking for your fucking self. Not being a puppet like you see out there when it comes to all the, uh, the disgustingness on, on social media these days. Not being a puppet or a stooge or a fucking pawn or a conformist. 
Discipline to be your fucking self and choose your own path. Choose hard. Stop letting easy fucking choose you and entice you and drag you down the path of mediocrity. Choose fucking hard. Decide in the discipline of difficulty. Head down your own difficult path. Make it fucking hard. You're going to appreciate it and respect it. And the rewards are going to be much greater than the easy path. The hard path leads to much greater rewards. The harder you work, the bigger the reward. The bigger the payday. That's just the way it is. It's the prerequisite. It's what you need to do. Just checking out some comments there about the project. Yes, the project. Steve Crawl is talking about the project. And then listen, you need to have discipline to have faith and confidence in yourself and choose those hard, big, bold moves. Those big risks. Big risks are hard. Big risks are hard. But they're going to lead you to where you fucking need to be, where you want to be, where you deserve to be, where your fucking kids deserve you to be. That's where those big risks are going to take you. Those bold moves are going to take you. Risks are hard. Avoiding risks, avoiding tough conversations, shit's fucking easy. Generating your own motivation and holding yourself accountable, calling yourself out on your own shit, that's hard. It's easy to let someone else motivate you. It's easy to let someone else hold you accountable. It's easy to let someone else just tell you're full of shit. But imagine, just imagine being able to generate your own freaking motivation. Being able to hold yourself accountable and having the self, the the wherewithal to have that self-awareness and and self-discovery to call yourself out on your own bullshit. That shit is fucking hard. That shit's a hit on your ego. It's easy for someone else to talk shit to you and tell you the truth. It's hard to tell yourself the fucking truth and accept it. Think about that shit. Given two options, 99% of the time, choose fucking hard. Don't be a little bitch. Make the hard decisions. Don't avoid them. Don't run from them. Have the hard conversations that you know you need to have with the people around you. Relationships in your life. Have those fucking hard conversations. Make that hard phone call. Train hard. Study hard. Because what we think is easy is actually hard. I'm going to tell you exactly what I mean. Living a life in mediocrity. It's an easy, it seems like an easy life. You don't have to take the risks. All this other stuff we're talking about. You don't have to wake up early. You can watch fucking Netflix. You don't have to read and study and learn. You don't have to make tough phone calls, big decisions, bold moves. A life of mediocrity sounds fucking easy. On the surface, it sounds easy to me. That shit sounds fucking hard. Hard as fuck. Living an ordinary life. Being unhealthy. Eating a bunch of shit sounds easy. Because you don't have to have that discipline. You don't have to to stay home when all your friends go out. That sounds hard. That's fucking easy. What's hard is when your family's taking a family photo and you're purposely hiding behind everyone. All you see is the poof of your hair because you're afraid you look too fat. Yeah, I'm going to tell you straight fucking forward like that because that's what we do on Steve Says. That's fucking hard. The easy life got you there. So on the surface, what seems easy is really fucking hard because now you're going to go back 20 years from now and look at those pictures. Or you're going to have a... I had someone tell me one time, they intentionally avoided there, it was a niece or someone, an uncle, an aunt, someone's in their somewhere close family's wedding because they did not like the way they looked. They knew they were overweight. They said they looked fat in their dress. And these are their words, not mine. So they pretended they were stiffly ill in bed. This is before any Corona fucking bullshit and masks and all that shit. They pretended they were deathly ill in bed and missed a fucking wedding because the last wedding they went to, they were hiding behind the pictures because they chose easy. But now what's easy? Was it easy looking at that wed- those wedding pictures 10 years from now that you're not fucking in because you, you pretended you were sick? Because you chose easy to get there. But in reality, the, it ends up being fucking hard. The easy becomes h- fucking hard. And then you realize, wow, the hard would have been easy. Would have had so much more fun. Wouldn't have missed out the wedding. Would have been in those pictures. Wouldn't have had to hide. Being unhealthy and sick and having a weak immune system, the easiness, easy life gets you there. But those things are fucking hard. Those are not easy things. Being broke, having no money in your bank account. Easy life will get you there, but that's a fucking hard life. You can't go on the vacations you want. You can't give the kids the life you want to give them. You can't provide for them the way you should be. Easy life got you there, but it's fucking hard. Choose fucking hard. Being alone, getting divorced, getting surgeries, sicknesses, illnesses, funerals. 
Easy life will get you there. Choose easy. You get all that shit. That shit's really fucking hard. That's fucking hard. Being unfulfilled in your life. Not knowing what your purpose is. Not even know what you're fucking here on this earth for. You could cruise by. You could skate by. Just keep zombieing by like a fucking robot. That's easy. Cruising. Cruise control. Easy. But being unfulfilled and fucking unhappy in your life? That's fucking hard. That is fucking hard. Healthy, fit, full of energy, confident, not giving a fuck what anyone thinks about you, running a successful business? That's fucking hard. Choose hard, and that's the things you're going to get out of it. The rewards of the fucking hard work, the effort, the maximum effort, the positive attitude, the relentlessness, the fucking discipline to decide on the, on the difficult. This is where, where I said in the beginning, where I said it doesn't sound like it makes sense, but I'm going to tell you about it. This is how hard becomes easy. Hard becomes fun. Hard becomes fucking automatic. That you could deal with it like it's not even fucking hard. You do so much hard shit that it becomes fun and easy. And then when the hard shit you're doing becomes easy, you know what you do? You go to that next fucking level. You redefine the definition of fucking hard in your world now. And you do it all over again from the fucking top. That's what you do. Have the discipline to choose hard and hold the fucking line. Have the discipline to attack the biggest and hardest, most difficult fucking hills of adversity in your life. Put on your fucking big boy pants and decide to stop bullshitting. Don't just commit to something for a couple of months, 75 days or 100 days of week. But as part of your everyday freaking lifestyle, make a promise with yourself to choose fucking hard. And for once in your life, keep the promise with yourself. Stop bullshitting. Because this is a marathon. This is not a sprint. This is a fucking marathon. Make the hard easy. Have the discipline to decide on the difficult. Do the hard shit. And if you need some help redefining what that is or navigating through the hard shit, you need some help with that or coaching or guidance or mentoring or anything that I mentioned above, just send me a DM. We will talk about it. See how I can help you out to get through that, to get to that level of success that you're looking for when it comes to your mindset, when it comes to your body and your health and your fitness and your business and the money that you're looking to make and the impact you're looking to have. Send me a DM. Let's talk about it. Choose hard. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.